Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Next up on the list for my test driving adventures in search of an SUV is this 2023 Honda Pilot. They are flying out of the dealerships. Three came in on this day and two were already spoken for. So the dealership called me up to test drive this one and see if I wanted to take him home permanently. Let's take the tour and see what we've got. So being that this one was fresh off the delivery truck, it had not been PDI'd yet meaning that the dealership technician had not gone over it yet with a fine tooth comb to kind of look at it for cosmetic or mechanical issues. So it still had all the plastics and tapings on it. And also it meant that the salesman had to go with me when I test drove it, so I couldn't bring it home. So the 2023 Pilot is slightly larger than the 22 and previous models. It's been completely restyled having a flatter nose or face if you will that has a larger and more aggressive grille that I really love and it has more rectangular shaped horizontal headlights which are full LED headlights, turn signals and fog lights. So this is the Touring Edition. It has those roof racks at the top too there to tie things down. But the Honda Pilot also comes in the Sport Edition, the EXL Edition, Special Edition, Trail Sport Edition, Elite Edition, and the Black Edition. And also on the bottom rear, you can see the dual exhaust and they look nice there, as well as the blacked out Pilot logo right there on the back. It still looks good. You can see it really good. But unfortunately, there are no LED tail lights, but they still look good and are very functional. When entering into the Pilot, it is a midsize, but it is a large midsize, and you can feel that when getting in. It's nice, it's nice and roomy. Uh, when I was driving it, it had good pickup though, so it didn't drive like a large, large SUV. It had nice pickup, and you know, it drove smoothly, and I really like that about it. Now, the inside is very simplified, very simple, no gimmicky uh, controls, nothing that you don't need. It's just very standard. We have a three zone automatic climate control with lock mode control for the back, UBA and UBC ports for the pocket. You can stick your cell phone there. You have a wireless phone charger and then you have the peg gear shift. Y'all know I don't care for it, but <laughs> it has two large cup holders and in the armrest you have a cubby right here. So it fits a lot of stuff. And over here in front of the passenger seat, it has a glove box and it's a nice size glove compartment and you can lock it. So that makes it nice and you know, you can lock up some of your valuables. I was a little surprised coming over to the infotainment center. It is nine inches, which in their base model, it comes in the even smaller seven inch display screen. But compared to the Telluride, Palisade and Highlander on their top models, it comes with a 12 inch screen, but it's still nice. And up above, you have room for regular and sunglasses, along with controls for the inside lights and controls for the sunroof. There is a large panoramic sunroof for the front and mid row with a power shade. And also the third row can see very good out of the sunroof. And on the door, we have seat adjustments for two drivers, as well as controls for windows, door locks, and outside mirrors. And you can see all the cubbies for the drinks. Very nice. You can put other accessories and little gadgets there too. And I forgot to say, this SUV has room for 14 cup holders. Mm -hmm. So do not be concerned about leg room and head room in this SUV. People six feet tall, they can fit comfortably. So it's just a lot of room all around. Coming down right here, you also have climate control for the back. Okay, and the seating. It has a removable center seat, as I understand. So it can carry eight passengers, or you remove that seat and carry seven passengers. The third row can fit two regular size adults comfortably, or three smaller people or three children. And I see four cup holders back here that can hold 32 ounce water bottles, and then two more cup holders. Mm -hmm all this space now that's one thing i don't like about these computerized cars when something is shut down 
it shut down. I could not get the seats down because it was basically off. Everything on the car was off until it gets PDI properly. And I couldn't get into the trunk to show you. And onto the engine, which I couldn't show you unfortunately, but it has a 3.5 liter V6 engine, which produces 285 in horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. It has a 10-speed automatic transmission and gets up to 19 city and 27 highway in mileage. As I know of right now, it does not come in a hybrid version, uh, but you can get all-wheel drive standard in the Elite and on the Trail Sport, as I understand. Front-wheel drive is standard though, but it's optional on some models. The Pilot has 5,000 pounds of towing capacity and safety cameras to see in the front and rear of the vehicle. The sticker price on this Pilot as test drove was $49,845. My thoughts on the 2023 Honda Pilot is that it was very nicely styled. I especially love that front grille. But getting in, it was very spacious. It was roomy. It was nice and comfortable. Didn't have a lot of controls that you didn't know what to do with. So if you're looking for something simple, this would be the perfect thing for you. It's big. If you need to carry a lot of people, you can hold a lot of people in here very comfortably. It drove very well, had, a, had good horsepower, good pickup. And overall, I really liked it. It's a little bit too big for me for daily use, but would be great for travel. So yeah, if you want one of these, go get one before they fly off the lots. <laughs> All right, subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.